I would try and make this as quick as possible. First step, primer. Sometimes I use two primers, Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Glow. I am then, and then going to go in with a second primer, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Do a bit of a base. So Armani Concealer in shade 6.5. Next, I'm going to do foundation. Luminous Silk Foundation, Giorgio Armani. You guys know I love this one. I'm going to go in with a complexion stippling brush, which is one of these from Mecca. And I'm just going to do a couple of pumps. Now, with this foundation, it is more of a, I would say, medium, lighter to medium coverage. And what I love about it is you can build it up depending on how you want your foundation to look. I actually read somewhere that Jennifer Lopez's makeup artist applies this like 10 times. So I don't have time to apply this 10 times, but I do have time to apply it two times. So I'm going to apply it once now. So, Eyes, I don't know why I always like to start off with a bronzer as a base. Um, and I like to use this as a base because then I think it ties everything in. If I was just running around during the day, this would be it for my eye. I've put on a bit of mascara and that would be like it. One of my favorite palettes, Charlotte Tilbury. This is called the Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes Forever. And I love these ones here, as you can see, well-loved, happy eyes. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now, I love these Mecca liners. This is actually the thicker one. Zoom Shadow Stick in Espresso. I just find they glide on so easily. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take like it's like an eyeliner brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit just so now I don't bring my liner all the way in so it's just on the outer just like that liner no liner let me do the other side now um, and I'm going to go over this liner a little bit and I'm going to use this shadow here, Confident Eyes. And this is just going to make it look a little bit more smoky. Do you know what? We're just going to go with a thicker liner tonight because I need to go pick up the kids soon. And sometimes I nail the thin liner and other times it's a smoky liner. So tonight's a smoky liner. Then what I'm going to do is because, again, I am super lazy um, and don't have much time. Shan does this on me as well. Actually, she doesn't. She does it on herself. Um, and I just copy. I just use my finger and I'm going to dab a bit of shadow on here. Um, I was going to apply a lash tonight but I don't think I am going to anymore. I think I'm just gonna go for a natural lash look. Okay, so that is pretty much my eyes done. Now I'm going to go back to my base and we are going to finish it off properly. So I'm gonna go back with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I'm going to apply one more layer. Just going to dab it all out. More concealer again. Now I used the little bit of silk last time, but this time I'm actually going to use a Laura Mercier one. Just for a bit of extra coverage. Actually love my bronzing bronzing brush. Um it's actually a Morphe brush. And again, L'Oreal back to bronze. 
just going to apply. I feel like everyone knows this or everyone talks about this, but you literally go like this, like a three. A bit of okay, now because I am messy with my makeup, I am sure that I concealed a bit of my under eye when I went in with the concealer. So I'm just going to grab a little brush again. I'm just going to add, oh my God, that's not even a mirror. I'm going to add a little bit underneath here again. And that is just using the bronzer. All right, and next up, a bit of blush. I am obsessed with this rose ink blush. Shade Azalea, I think that's how you say it. Grab a little brush. I love a blush. Like no look is complete without a blush. Like it makes you look fresh, youthful, awake, which is what we want. I mean, I go my nose, you don't have to. I do a little bit. Okay. Um, and then I might just do a bit of highlighter. Shall I do this one? It's a bit too white. I think I want a bit bronzy. So do you know what I'm actually going to do? Old Faithful MAC. It's just like a bronzing, a shimmer kind of powder. So I'm just going to grab a little bit and just go a little bit up here. Through here. Just to give me a bit of glow. As I said, this makeup is not complicated at all. So I've just timed it. It's 10 minutes this takes me. And that is all I can dedicate to makeup when I do it myself. Because I just can't be bothered. Okay, now we are going to set this whole look with a setting spray. I use Makeup Forever. I feel like they're all really good. Lips. This is Rimmel Tiramisu. Like every girl, I overdraw. Put it in here. You can actually even colour your whole lips using this liner, which is what I've actually just done. I'm use this Gucci one. This is Gucci in shade the Painted Veil 201. I'm just going to dab a little bit. I think the key is just to. Dab. And there you have it. That is my, I'm just looking at the timer, 12 minute makeup look. And there you have it. That is my, I'm just looking at the timer, 12 minute makeup look. I will do my hair next and are you ready? If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one, and I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is going to look. And it's going to stay on 24-7 and it's not going to crease. It's a technique that's probably still used. Have you heard of underpainting? It is a technique and not a new technique, but a technique that you should try. It means putting your blush and your contour and all of the other things under your foundation. Sort of. We're going to start with bronzer. This is a cream bronzer in the shade Seashells by Rose Inc. We're putting all these things beneath the foundation. Because when you think about it, when you do have a little bit of color in your face from the sun, it's normally on your bare naked skin. Touch under the jaw for good measure. And we're going to do the same thing with blush. And in the same vein, blush is something that comes from just being windy or flushed for whatever reason. 
And then we're actually going to blend those in first, and then we're going to go in with concealer to perfect and make it all better and smoother and blended. It might look a little interesting until you're complete, but trust the process. You definitely want to blend with a different brush from your blush to your bronzer. And then you put your concealer in other places where the other products did not go, but close by. And then you blend. And that is the result. Try it and let me know. Y'all, if you are... If you guys don't know who that is, that's Selena Gomez's makeup artist. This is a trick I learned many years ago in makeup school, and people think I'm nuts for doing this. It is the best hidden trick for under the eye. Go check it out, like, right now. ...to tell me that I can get that exact same look using just an eyelash curler. Well, then, obviously, we're gonna try it. I feel like this is a good position. Okay, so I'm gonna alternate between using this flat brush just to pack on the product, and then using a fluffy brush to blend it all out. For the moment of truth, did it work? <gasps> oh my god! Hold up, because this could be life-changing. Okay, now I'm using the handle bit. I just can't believe this. I can't believe this. You see how there's a gap? I'm actually gonna flip it and use it this way to connect the two. I'm so smart. I love myself. Genius. Just adding some brown liner. Sorry, I'm actually in love. I will most definitely be doing this for the rest of my life. 